Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Now in this video I want to show you a simple way to create free headers and footers in Elementor without Elementor Pro. Now to get started we are going to go back into our website dashboard and we are going to come here to plugins and we will add a new plugin. Now we are going to first create our headers and then we will also create footers. And in this case I am going to install a free plugin called Envato that brings us a couple of amazing templates for creating headers and footers. So I'll search here Envato and this will help us simply to import a header and a footer and now here it shows up it is called Envato Elements and at the moment it has over 100,000 active installations. I already have it installed and activated, the same you should do on your side. Once it is activated it will show up right here in your sidebar menu and once you click on it, it will ask you to activate it. Then it will bring you right to this page. Now what we are going to do, we are going to come over here and then we hover on Elementor and then we click on Blocks. Once you click on Blocks, then it will take you to another separate page whereby it will bring you a number of section blocks that are grouped in categories. And in this case, we have heroes, pop-ups, menu pricing, table pricing and a lot more. But we are looking specifically for a header. Now when we click on a header, here it will display for us all the available headers that we can use in our WordPress or Elementor website. Now in this case, I have already imported this header and the same you should do. So we simply ignore the warning and then we install and there we are done. Next we are going now to go back and then we will come over here and then we look for our footer block. And we have this very first one and I will simply ignore the warning and then I will install that footer block the same you should do now once you are done when you come back here to your elementor and go to save templates you'll be able to see what you already imported now we imported our header and also we imported our footer now when you open them with elementor and also open with the footer with elementor You are in position to make a couple of settings on this specific header. For example, you can make changes to the logo. Give it the name you want. You can even link to a different menu that you have on your website. You can change the menu styling right here. And to be in position to have different menu styles right here, for example, menu styles for menu style 6 or menu style 10 you realize that the effects are different for all the menu stylings see how this looks like so I'll leave it at style 4 now to have these menu stylings I'm basically using a widget from another plugin called HTMega add-ons that I'm going to show you just in a while now once you are done making changes to your header you simply hit update the same we will do right here on our footer we can come over here and we can make changes to all these sections. We can even add a new section. We can add new uh, widgets right from here by simply dragging over here. But in this case, I'm going to come over here to this column. Then I'll come over here and then I'll look up for our inline navigation, which is from HTMega add-ons. Once you drag it over here, your widget, and then here you'll select the menu that you want to show up and right here it will show up your menu so in this case i want to simply show my other menu and here i can even change the styling of my menu and how it's going to display now once you are done making changes to your both header and footers you simply hit save now we'll go back to our dashboard come to plugins and then you'll say add new plugin and right here we're going to search for a plugin called htmega I have this already installed and activated so what you have to do is to install it and activate then you'll also be in position to use a couple of widgets that are made by htmega add-ons once it's activated it shows up right here and the inline navigation first of all that we're using to make changes to our menu in the header and footer this is the widget because this Elementor add-on comes with a pretty number of different widgets you can use for free in your Elementor website and it also has the HT Builder, which enables us to create free headers and footers for our website. Here we are going to move to the advanced add-ons 
and here we will have to make sure that we enable the theme builder by enabling i mean it should be in blue color once it is enabled you simply hit save and once it is saved it will show up this option right down here called the ht builder and then you click on the ht builder then it will open up this kind of setting now once it opens up here then we'll have to select a template for our header and a template for our footer in this case we want to simply assign what should show up in our header and what should show up in our footer on our website so in this case i'm going to simply say i want to display our header as our header and then i'm also, I'm also going to display my footer as my footer so the footer template as the footer page and the header template as the header page now i simply hit save changes now once i save changes next thing i'm going to do is simply come here to pages add new page and right here i'm going to name this page builder i simply publish and publish and then I'm going to open that page with Elementor. Now what I'm going to do is to come here to settings and I should make sure the page layout is set to Elementor full width. Once now it shows up, you realize now both my header and footer are both displaying. Now what I have to do is simply hit update. Now this means that if I open up this page called builder it will show both my header and the footer without any content by simply coming over here to pages once the pages show up here then i'm going to say open my builder page by viewing if you don't want to go to the pages you may simply come over here to your editor and say preview page the same will open up a preview for that page but in this case i wanted to see the live page now you see we have our header here and our footer down here now we are going to add some content on our page here so i'm going to come over here to my editor and then i can simply add sections and then i can add content to my page but in this case i'm going to use already pre-made templates so i'll come over here to the folder come to the my templates and here will be important to use a couple of already made templates that I have right in here in my website. So in case you want to see how to create free templates using Elementor, simply check out this video here in the card or in the description box below. So now I'm going to import my template. And then I'm also going to import another template. Then I have to make sure that my page layout is actually full width. Once that is done, I simply hit update. That means I'm saving changes to my page. And once it's updated, then I'll come over here to my page. Then I'll simply reload the page. And boom, our page shows up the header and the page content right here including our footer so that's a simple way you can create free headers and footers for your elementor website in case you have any questions comments about this tutorial please let me know in the comment box below and in case you like the video please hit the like button and if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one